bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. 97% of the people with celiac disease don't even know they have it. The question is, do you? Hello again and thanks for joining us. I'm Carla Showell Lane. You're watching Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me in the studio this hour is Alice Bast. She is the executive director for the National Foundation for Celiac Awareness. And today we're talking about the disease and their upcoming event. Thanks for joining us, Alice. Nice to see you again. Oh, great to see you, Carla. Yeah, I remember the last time you were here, we were talking about celiac disease. And I had looked it up and it said an autoimmune digestive disease that always uh, or damages the villi of the small intestine and interferes with absorption of nutrients from food. And I didn't know what all of that meant. So maybe you can help us absorb what that means. I will be happy to help out. Yeah. I know that that's kind of wordy, but really what it means, simply stated, is that you can't, people with celiac disease or gluten intolerance can't eat wheat, rye, and barley. Mm. And when they eat wheat, rye, and barley, or products that contain wheat, rye and barley, what happens is it sets off an autoimmune reaction in your body and it flattens your villi, mm. you don't absorb your nutrients, and then your whole body goes haywire. So you have a whole bunch, a whole range of symptoms. Yeah, and, and it's scary because when you talk about 97% of the people with celiac disease don't even know that they have it. So the symptoms, what are some of the symptoms? The symptoms range from migraine headaches to reproductive health problems, and I think we discussed previously, I had a full-term stillbirth and miscarriages and fertility issues. I remember that. Um, to um, anemia, to stomach upset, so it could be constipation, it could be fatigue, mm. thyroid disease. And they say online, if you have any of those symptoms that you should get yourself checked. Ask your doctor to test you, because doctors think of celiac disease as a rare disease. When in, they were taught in medical school it was a rare disease, but it's not. It's mm. a common disease and affects 1% of the population, which is anywhere between 3 and 10 million people have celiac and they don't know why they're suffering. Right. And, and you that, say oftentimes even doctors don't know that African American women should be checked for the disease as well. Nope. Yeah. They, they think of it more of as a Caucasian disease, ah. but that's, that's wrong. You know, if you're suffering from any of the symptoms that we have listed online, um, under celiaccentral.org, mm -hmm. ask your doctor, print out that checklist and right. ask your doctor to test you. Right, I remember doing that. Some people with celiac may not have the symptoms and they're called uh, asymptomatic celiac disease. Uh, do you know anything about that? That's interesting because uh, some people don't even have those symptoms. Yes, they, they don't have the, the you know terrible diarrhea. They just may have a little bit of fatigue. Ah. And so it's important if you're, you're at all feeling you know tired, irritable, mm. maybe some kind of um, behavioral disturbances, again, ask your doctor to test you. You'll see all kinds of products yeah. in the store. And um, these products are, are gluten-free products. Right. Um, and they're made for people with celiac disease. And it's not some kind of fad diet. People yeah. are like, what is this gluten-free all about? But it's really made for the population of people that can't digest the protein component in wheat, rye, and barley. So people should be looking for products they say gluten-free. Right, they look for uh, gluten-free products. Okay. And that's what our Celiac Awareness Night is all about on March 10th. Right. Um, at the Wachovia Center. And tell us a little bit about that event and what can people expect? I heard it's a lot of fun. Oh, Carla, it's going to be a great deal of fun. We're yeah. so lucky. Um, Ed Snyder and uh, Brian Evans from the 76ers has made a, an evening available to us where the uh, Philadelphia 76ers mm -hmm. and the Boston Celtics are playing against each other. Mm -hmm. And this should be a sold out crowd. And at that night, we're going to have a celiac awareness night. We're going to have, uh, there's going to be a pub PSA on celiac disease, information tables in the concourse on celiac, free popcorn. Right. So just lots and lots of fun. And you can learn about this disease that's very common, but not readily diagnosed. Right. And how should people purchase tickets? And can they still do that? Oh, yeah. Please purchase tickets. They can do it several ways. They can go to tickets at uh, sixers.com, or they can call Brian Evans. It's listed on on the on the, um, the, the screen there on the screen okay. right now all right celiac, or our website celiac awareness night march 10th at the wachovia center that's correct all right thanks so much for joining us today Alice. oh thank Good you information this hour's newsmaker has been alice bass she is the executive director for the national foundation for celiac awareness i'm carla showa for comcast newsmakers an exclusive production of comcast <laughs>